never slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I can roast, I can gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I'll be in incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No I'm not giving up No I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages A vacant, modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. Police station, and this is where. Captain Mark Richards, of course he's not a captain, but just using that stupid name that's been given to him, but Mark Richards the murderer was brought to on July 13th, 1982. Um, Cross and Hoover was taken over to Fairfax, which we'll try to get to as well, but I've just shot some B footage. I've got to do a bit more. I've been shooting stuff for the documentary here. And this is where the son of a bitch was brought to. Uh, He's not a captain of the secret space program. He's just a fraud. Um, and he's just defrauded some idiots in our community like Kerry Cassidy and Simon Parks and uh, a few hundred thousand of their followers and maybe a few more as well. So um, yeah, oh, it's fun debunking people, man. I am having so much fun. All right, all right, I better get to Fairfax. Okay, so just behind me there is uh, Fairfax Police and uh, on July 13th, 1982, that's where Cross and Hoover was um, separately taken away from Mark. Mark was at San Rafael Police Station. Crossing was taken here to uh, Fairfax Police Station to be interviewed uh, here. And um, Cross and Hoover has been in prison for 36 years alongside Mark. Um, but I've got something really interesting to share here right now. Um, I've got Cross and Hoover's original police interview tapes and uh, I'll show you. <laughs> this is uh, one of Cross and Hoover's original tape interviews uh, when he was first arrested and we'll listen back to just a, a little snippet in a minute and it's so damning. 
what he's saying about Mark Richards, who was never Captain Mark Richards. Um, you know, what he's, he was there. Mark was next to Crossing, telling Crossing what to do. Uh, they, the, the boys called Mark um, Coach. <laughs> you gotta laugh. Um, but it, it's difficult to laugh sometimes because it's such a serious subject. But yeah, um, Cross and Hoover did the murder on behalf of Mark. And uh, that's the police station he went to over there. Crazy re retracing of a thing. And it's taken me, I've been a week on this right now, retracing everything. So I'll get back to base camp in, it, in a minute, back to the house that I'm, uh, I'm staying at. I'm, yeah. I'm here with Russ and uh, we've been filming. I, well, I'm here with Russ and we've been filming for the uh, Mark Richards documentary. I'm a hologram. Yeah, you're a hologram. You're not really there. Now, Russ used to know uh, Mark Richards back in the day, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. And would, I, you, would you say he was a, a close friend of yours? I'd say for several years he was my best friend now. Yeah. Yeah, and what what years were these? Would you say? Um, I think coincided probably with my senior year, which mm -hmm. would have been nineteen seventy two. Yeah. To seventy three. Yeah. And my lord, it went on probably till about seventy eight. Yes. Maybe a little bit longer. So we've been filming together now for uh, almost a week. We haven't. <laughs> it does it feel longer <laughs> <laughs> much yeah. and um and oh my god um there's been some it, it's been an interesting interesting journey so far yeah. um just and how does it make you feel to see what i've shown you that 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 what mark is doing right now that he's a you know a, a captain in the in the secret space program and and you knew this man before he came out before he did the murder you knew him but to for him to have come out with this with this crazy idea right now i know what you've kind of said on camera for the documentary but just right now you know a week later into filming this well first of all i got to say i'm furious at him for giving away our secret other than that no initially i'll be honest with you i was absolutely heartbroken Mm. To see that, I mean, with the murder and then all of this, to see the path Mark's travel because, yeah. as I said, he was a really wonderful friend. I couldn't ask for a better one. And yeah. And we shared a lot of wonderful times. But I have to admit, the more you expose me to, that heartbreak is turning to fury for several reasons. One, it's making light of the murder itself. Yep. Right? Yep. Yeah. And... um I passionately believe that there are extraterrestrials. I don't know how it's not. It's possible there couldn't be. Yeah, you've got All a right? passion in yeah. the subject, haven't you? And yeah. yeah. now you see this crazy ass stuff with. I'm not even going to repeat all of it. Everyone knows it if they're seeing this yeah. blog, I believe. But, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, watching crazy Carrie Cassidy, who I'm now going to call. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm not. C C no. What is it? C K C K C C K C. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 From yeah. now on, folks, if you hear C K C out of my mouth, that referring means to Crazy Carrie Cassidy. Because you must watch her, and she's putting out. She's put out these nine or well, ten videos now on Mark, and none of it is true. And and you know she's not. In, she's never interviewed anyone like yourself who knew Mark back in the day. She wouldn't want the truth to ruin her gravy train. That's right. Yeah. That's right. She's going to be shocked when she sees what we've put together in this documentary. And of course, you're only you're only just a part of this documentary, but you you played a key what? part. I know. I didn't did I not tell you. It's it was in the you contract. told me it was about me. <laughs> no, it's you in told the me contract. That's why I'm going to get the big money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but but just you know, I mean, everything we've been finding this week with yourself, because obviously there's been a lot of developments as you've kind of joined us in this week. And it's just, you know, I've been doing this since June. Um, coming here for a second time filming, meeting you, doing all the other stuff, which you know what we've been up to and I'm not going to say. Um, no, we don't want to give away the plot. <laughs> no, it's incredible. And, and it, it, it's just, for those people watching this now who, who want to believe in the Mark Richards story, what would you say to them? Really? Seriously? 
Um, I guess I can't say a lot of the things I said in the documentary, so I'm not going no, to. But no. really, would any right-thinking, normal human being believe this insanity, considering where he's been every day for, what, 36, 36 years, years, and yet is trying to sell the idea, Does along he? with CKC, but, that he's out But flying. you were with him. You, you knew what he was up to. You said you didn't <laughs> want to give away I know, and I'm not, saying, I'm not saying too much, obviously, because yes, we've been okay. filming in different locations. True, but, okay, I'll tease this, if it's all right with you. I call him head of director. Um, we were living in the same house, in adjoining bedrooms, mm -hmm. For the time he would go to Vietnam every day and fly back. <laughs> and my understanding now is that he also had time to go into outer space as well. Uh, I don't know how he did both. The Amazing Mark. The Amazing Mark. And yeah. I'm saying this yeah. yeah, in a very sad way, even though I'm making light of it a a bit, but come on, folks, how can you not make light of this? Yeah, yeah, because the time that he was with you would have been time that he was away on, on secret missions, and that's just bullshit, because you know where he was, you were a tight group of friends, and people um, are going to be He was surprised. in the bedroom next to mine. Yeah, yeah, just, just, to, be just to, to be accurate, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're going to be surprised at where this documentary is going, so... I heard the battles, I heard <laughs> yes. AK-47s, yes. no, yes. M-60... Yes. Yeah, well, well, you know, Mark's also saying, you know, he was a pilot as well and um, of, of a, a ship called Minerva, um, a, a UFO craft. I mean, you know, I mean... I gave him the name. Oh, I know you did, yeah. Well, actually, there's... I painted oh, it myself. There's the things outside. we can't say. There's things we can't say no, right now um, about what you've recorded as well. So... Um, yeah, I just wanted to do an update, uh, you know, uh, with with someone that's, uh, you know, uh, like Russ, who's, uh, you know, uh, one of the lead witnesses in, in this documentary that we're putting together now. And it's just going to blow apart. But she, Kerry deserves to be blown apart in the sense for the story, for putting such... I mean, you've seen what she said about Richard Baldwin and, and everything else, and she'll just say, well, it's, you know, I'm, I'm hands off. It's other people's research, but you don't just talk about other people's research without you know taking responsibility for putting that kind of information about yeah. defaming someone like Richard Bowen for being a pedophile and everything else and deserving what he got and she claims from the footage I've seen to be a journalist really um, that was the 60s really uh, honestly yeah, she does um, the irresponsibility and the pollution of legitimate UFO research is reprehensible. She ought to be ashamed of herself, but she seems to have no shame whatsoever. And as I said earlier, I think she's found a way to earn a living off of a man I used to love and a man who seems to be quite sick now. And that's disgusting, man. Yeah, yeah. So there you go, people. So so here's an actual lead witness that knew Mark back in the day. They're gonna, they're gonna say you're MK Ultra, you're you're fake, and all this bullshit. But you've proven everything to us um, and more that he you knew Mark through um, video, through pictures, and, and much more. And, um, and 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 you're not the only lead witness in this case. There's obviously... No, there's only one lead. Well, yeah. But Everyone else has to be supported. <laughs> yeah. You promised me that, too. I did promise Above you that. Above the line billing, folks. If it doesn't happen, <laughs> he's a liar. Uh, no, I've only told you the truth. But you've signed the contract now, so it's, it's, yeah, it's all done, I know. Um, but no, just to... Um, just to have got this far and everything else that we're doing, and we're, we're only joking around because, yeah. you know, we, we, we've had to, to keep, keep this going, but uh, yeah. it's just... Um, yeah. Everything you guys are discovering is so grim mm -hmm. that if we don't have a sense of humor we'll join hands I, <laughs> and jump off the golden gate bridge together because it's yeah. some brutal yeah. stuff but we've had a good week together it's been great to get to know you and get to um you know see what you were you know how, how, it, how it all started for yourself back in the day with the journey of picking up a camera yes and and, and, and the scripts that you've written as well and we'll put all that in the documentary there's my phone going off so um yeah, I just, um, 
I, th I think there's more in this vlog that I'm going to go over in a minute, but I just wanted to introduce you to Russ. So, hey, it's been a real pleasure meeting you guys. I hope we meet again soon. In the interim, stay tuned for the doc. So having Russ Blum on this documentary just dates where Mark was uh, in his uh, early years. So when Mark is saying at 16 he was away on some um, goofy idea of being a, a Vietnam consultant at 16, obviously Russ plants Mark at Sir Francis Drake High School at 16 and so will other witnesses that we're interviewing do the same thing as well. So the idea of him being in Vietnam it's over. Joanne, let it go. It's finished. And I know that you've posted stuff on Project Avalon, uh, which is Bill Ryan's platform, which um, I'll link in the description. And she's posted there that she's got some information to do with, you know, a picture of Mark at 16 next to some sort of uh, documented release that's uh, redacted to do with Mark being in Vietnam. It's just a load of bollocks. One, you can't read it, and two, um, that is not Mark. Mark did not go to Vietnam, and that is false information which she's got there. Or, Joanne, are you using the details of another Mark Richards that lived locally that did serve in Vietnam? I wonder. Now, Project Avalon have done me a massive favor as well. They've also posted um, stuff that Joanne wanted posting on there. And what Joanne's posted is that she is actually married to Mark. That was one of my concerns with Joanne Richards. And yes, I did contact Montgomery Clerk Office and um, yes, you are married to Mark Richards, and yes, I've ordered the marriage certificate, and we'll put that in the documentary. But, Joanne, in which name did you marry Mark? Did you use your childhood name or felt, or did you use a different name, like Farset, when you got married, and you've maybe um, been up to no good when you actually married him? You've used the wrong names? We're checking all that out. If you want to reply on Avalon, you can do. I will make my own checks as well, because I'm going to go down to Alameda, uh, where you had your previous marriage, and the divorce certificate should be there as well. Well, we hope, right? <laughs> More info on Joanne Richards coming soon, the wife of the amazing secret space captain, Mark Richards. Uh, not. Um, okay, so interesting thing coming up now. I'm just going to share with you a bit of audio from Cross in Hoover. Now, Cross in Hoover was the 17-year-old that did the murder for Mark. Um, Mark brainwashed him. Mark helped him with the murder, helped him dispose of the body. Um, Cross in was in pieces uh, when he was arrested on July 13th, 1982. Now, I've met one of the lead detectives in this case, and now he's given us cassette tapes of the original police interview with Crossing Hoover. And what's great about those tapes is it shares the memory as it was a week after the murder. Now I've been interviewing Crossing from prison phone lines, but that's a, a 36, 37 year old memory that's tainted with time. This is a week after the murder. And they believed everything this young man had to say because he just spilt the beans because he was so angry that he had done this act for Mark and had basically been buttfucked by Mark for doing it. So um, you're about to hear a very angry, raw, emotional young man right now in a police interview. And this is just a section. And you know, Mark was there at the time of the murder. On those tapes, for what I've listened to so far, Mark was a foot away <clears throat> from crossing Hoover as he did the murder. Mark wasn't having lunch with his parents or away on some secret space program mission. Hello, Earth to Kerry Cassidy, Earth to Joanne Richards. But anyway, here's a clip. Rossi, uh, I understand that you uh, took Dick's car and put it in Richmond. Yeah. Richmond? Or, I thought it was a train station. A train, train. Yeah, well, Is it a regular train thing. or a barge? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't go. It's just some, I think it's train. Train or something. In the parking lot? Uh, outside. On the street? Yeah. Right, right around the place? Yeah. How'd you guys find out I did that? Yeah. Mark, uh, Mark admitted that to us. Oh, He's making a few other admissions. Oh. But, uh, it's about time. He still, uh, he still is lying like hell to us. He has a real hard time facing the truth, which is, uh, 
I mean, I kind of have to, uh, even though you've gotten yourself into an unbelievably serious mess, I, you know, you know, I respect your, your willingness to stand up and, uh, and tell us. And that's a more than I can say for that jerk in there that helped get you into this. Well, is he saying that? He's telling lies out his asshole, Mom. The guy has never told the truth to us, so why should he tell the police the truth? He's never told... The people we work for, he never told the truth to. Okay, I'm sure done. Mm -hmm. Just about done. Okay. I think. Is Andrew going to go to juvenile, too? Yes. Oh, get to talk to Andrew then. Oh, he may have already gone. Oh, we don't have a friend here. Back to back. Well, if Andrew wasn't there, he's only an accessory. He's not an accessory, Mom. He helped me touch the guy. He just carried the guy. So he's just like by him. And see, Mark. See, and the Mark thing is, is money, in the back money talks and crime walks. That's all Mark did to us. Because Andrew is just like me. If there's money around, that guy's greedy for money, just like I am, because he doesn't have nothing either. So we're all on money. And then when he told us everyone so was money, you two were doing all this little dirty work. He, he was wasn't just doing standing shit. there watching. He was watching the whole time, handing me screwdrivers, handing me knives. He handed you the knife and screwdriver. I slapped. When I hit him in the, Ma, well, listen, I I crushed his head. I hit him once. I stepped back ten feet. I came back in, hit him about three times. I stepped back again. His hand went back for his back, like he was going to get a gun. I stepped over onto his chest. I slammed the fucking screwdriver through, I put a knife up there, I stepped on the knife, the knife crumbled into a billion pieces, I grabbed another regular knife screwdriver, I stuck it through the side of his head, and I stuck one through the side right there in the temple, and I turned it around like a blender. And he was just standing there instructing you? To instructing, the instructor, as Andrew called him. Coach. So there's the, you know, the raw audio, some of the raw audio, I mean there's, there's six tapes worth or more and uh, there's a lot to go through right now. But on those tapes, a week after the murder, Crossy states Mark was a foot away when those murders took place. Mark was there. Mark is just an absolute fraud and, you know, being in front of the detective um, and telling them the story of Kerry Cassidy and, and Joanne Richards and, you know, the, the, the secret space program. I just felt so stupid. I felt so embarrassed in front of this seasoned, grounded detective. And like the detective said, there was no child pornography at Richard Baldwin's and Richard Baldwin was not a paedophile. If any of that was true, it would have come out. And guess what else, Marky Mark, if you're listening to this, I think I found maybe the couple of the reasons why you actually did this murder and that will come out in the documentary as well uh, that's it's very interesting some of the research that's being done right now and uh, speaking to these people that were around 36 years ago and uh, knew this fraudster Mark Richards and when they when I've shown them you know Kerry Cassidy and 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 jo Joanne Richards you know on, on my phone and stuff playing about the YouTube videos they're like <laughs> Are these people insane? And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's just, it's crazy. Yeah, this is, this is what's out there right now. And uh, um, you know, there's, there's some harmful people um, out there in this, you know, community that I, I'm a part of, apparently. Uh, so yeah, um, crazy. And uh, I very much did enjoy uh, Joanna going to see all your neighbours and telling them um, about the work that you do and that they've got the Earth Defence headquarters just outside their homes and that it's there to protect them um, as well and they thoroughly enjoyed watching you uh, give presentations because it was like is this the same Joanne Richards we know that she goes to UFO conferences and she's given presentations on behalf of Mark and I'm like yeah it is so um, that was fun that was fun and um, you know uh, so yes you know Joanne still looking into you and uh, if you want to respond on Avalon you can do um, so I think you know I will say uh, Bill Ryan I salute you. I salute you for all your support and all your love that you've given me on Project Avalon. You've been um, 
you've you've been very helpful and uh, you know I can't wait to work with you in the not too distant future as well so um, so much more to do right now oh I, by the way I will respond to Simon Park soon uh, because obviously he put a video out there saying that he knew that people the in the intelligence services that knew of Mark and of course now I'm doing this you know documentary now and you know researching it all and I have been since June last year Simon Parks, you're full of shit. That's what I say to that, because now knowing that the story is false, you lied. You lied, you lied, you lied. So, response video coming shortly on that. So, I just want to say, if you do want to support this project, please go to www.theisnn.com. I'll put a link in below. It just goes to my crowd um, funding campaign right now. So, if you if you do feel that you want to, you know, support this um, Mark Richards documentary, just place um, um, a donation there, and it will be greatly received. Okay, well, look, look after yourselves, be good to each other, be good to yourselves, and until until next time, I'll catch you soon. Peace. Oh